Hi, I'm Jade Vardaman. Uh, the company I run is called Moses Biologic LLC, and what I do is actually, for industry, I'll take their packaging, throw insects on it, and tell them how the bugs are getting in, and hopefully tell them how they can make improvements to their packaging to keep those same insects out. What we have illustrated here is my control chamber. All of the bags inside of this chamber have no insect growth regulator or otherwise none of them are treated with the provision guard coating. Uh, each individual bag that you see in here has been opened, had the eggs introduced, 100 flower beetle eggs plus 100 Indian meal moth eggs, and then that opening was closed back over with packing tape. Uh, the the um, environmental situation of the bags itself is optimal for the uh, development of the stored product insect. It's at about 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit and 60 to 60 percent relative humidity. And as you can see, this has been running for almost three complete months. Uh, we've had at least two different generations of insects being produced. And at the beginning of the study, what's interesting to note is that the floor was actually clean. You could actually see the bottom of the chamber, but as the insects come in and out of the packages, they tend to take a little bit of debris with them, and it's evident that there has been a lot of insect movement inside this control chamber. This is chamber number two. This is our treatment chamber. Inside here are two pallet loads of woven or sewn open mouth bags, one bag of which is paper, the other bag is a woven polypropylene bag. Both of them are coated with provision guard coating. Each one of these bags was seeded with the same insects as the control bags. And each bag is kept in the same environmental conditions as the control bags. But what is evidence is the difference in the amount of insects you see crawling around on the bags or on the floor. You see a lack of debris that has been carried in and out from the packages. Uh, the floor is uh, fairly clean and it's almost completely uh, free of insects wandering around. What we're getting ready to do right now is actually cut open one of the control bags and see what it looks like on the inside. You see there's lots of insect and lots of insects and lots of movement on the exterior of the package, but what we really want to do is see how many are actually on the product. There are various methods that we can utilize to separate the insects from the product, but it's evident from just now opening the bag that the numbers on the inside are so large that it might not even give us any extra data if we were to say there were 10,000 insects versus being just 100. What we're going to do now is cut open a treated bag. Basically this is, a, this is another sewn open mouth paper bag, but this one has been treated with provision guard coating. Now both of these packages are sitting in the same environmental conditions, they were seeded with the same amount of insects. But already it's evident from the exterior of the package that there are less insects moving around. I believe we may see one flower beetle wandering at the surface, so we're going to actually cut into the bag and see what it looks like from the inside. Now from the, from the control bag, as soon as we opened it, there were many, many individuals wandering along the interior of the package and in the product itself. Right now, even looking through this, just poking through it uh, by hand, I see very few insects. What we're going to do now is attempt to open up our third bag variable, and that is a woven polypropylene sewn open mouth bag containing the same product but being coated with provision guard. Once again, from opening up the product, you can see minimal webbing from some of the Indian meal moth eggs that were actually placed into at the beginning, at day one of the study. But the numbers of flower beetles and actual Indian meal moth larvae are almost absent. Provision guard does work. 